Hey everyone, this is Julia. Welcome to Avida. Cheers. This is the perfect cup of coffee. <laughs> Cheers. It's not too strong. It doesn't have like a sour note at the end. It's just very smooth, mild, but there's still like an aftertaste after I swallow. So yeah, this is just beyond perfect. Cheers. All right, so I wanted to get ready with you and I have all my makeup stuff here. I'm in my living room and we can reconfigurated our entire living room because we got a new TV stand. And right now I have some lamps on the TV stand because the TV is on top of the fireplace and it's mounted on there. So it's kind of hard to get it down. So this is my current setup. It's gonna be temporary, which is why I kind of wanted to do this video here. Um, also, I cut my hair. <laughs> it's very short. I wanted it a little bit longer like this, and I wanted it like straight. And I also wanted like straight bangs, but I don't know, it just didn't turn out that way. <laughs> I don't know, I showed her a bit of a, a picture, but then it ended up being a little bit different. I don't know, it looks weird. I also didn't shower yesterday, or today. I showered yesterday, but I don't feel like showering today. So yeah, that's, I'm just gonna leave my hair and redo things later on. But yeah, my bangs are weird. It's like long in some part of my, of, of the hair. So like some of the hair like touches my eyes. But anyway, I don't think she did like a great job of like making sure all the hair in the same area is, is um, cut. We'll see how it goes. I always don't really like my haircut after a couple of days, during the first couple of weeks, because it's like hard to style short hair. So yeah, there's a learning curve every single time I cut my hair. All right, let's get ready together. Um, oh, I have a list of things I wanted to talk about. So let's start with the list. Um, all right, first things first is this lamp right here. Um, this lamp is my late newest collection of my lamp collection. Her name is Tiffany Rose and it's a Tiffany style lamp. It's not a Tiffany lamp. Those are very, very hard to come by and very expensive. Um, but yeah, that is a Tiffany, Tiffany style lamp and it has pink roses on there. So her name is Tiffany Rose. And then um, I got a new TV stand it's a, it's not cherry wood, but it looks like a cherry wood, um, it has like a cherry wood finish to it, so I don't think it's particle board because it was really, really heavy, and I love it. We got it at an estate sale. We got a couple of pieces today, this past weekend at an estate sale. We got this TV stand, a new dining table, and a credenza thing. I don't know what you call it, but um, yeah, the TV stand is a big change because right now the TV is on top of the fireplace and it's kind of hard to get it down because it's mounted on there and the TV is big. So right now this is a temporary setup where I have my rubber plant on a, on a plant stand and I have a, um, this is my boyfriend's, like, heirloom, I guess. He got it from his aunt, or great aunt. So, yeah, this is his, and I added two lamps. And uh, on the left side, on the other side, we have a, um, it's a Monstera, Monstera. So, we call her Monstera of the Midway. Monstera of the Midway because um, my boyfriend's a Bears fan and he has a cup that says like or he has a sweater that says like Monster of the Midway so that's her name. Alright so let's get started with 
I look. I already did my skincare, so um, I'm just going to do some base. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some foundation on. I'm going to use my Smashbox foundation so it's, since it's the weekend. The color is 1.05 Skin Tone. And the undertone is Warm All In. And I think... I think I'm not 100% sure I think I have a warm skin tone so. <laughs> um, so yeah let's use our hands why not and I have a mirror right here so I'm just gonna be looking at that by the way my clock in the living room knocks I think it's really comforting in the living room but I'm sorry if it bothers you um, if I move the clock a little bit, like one way, then the knocking stops, but I really love the knocking noise. But when I'm trying to sleep, it like bothers me, so. By the way, I woke up this morning and I heard my clock, that clock right there, um, ring. It rings every hour, but I turned down the, the sound for that because it bothers me when I'm like filming and there's been so many times when I've filmed a video and <laughs> it's at the top of the hour so um, I turned it off for now and but I woke up this morning and it rung nine times but then I checked my phone and it was like 8 a.m. I was like wait what so I totally forgot that it was um, the light saving so even though it's supposed to be 11.25, it's actually 10.25, so we all gain an hour. Last night, we both fell asleep at like 11.30. Well, we try to go to bed around like 10, which is really early for a Saturday night. But my boyfriend wasn't feeling that well. I wasn't feeling too well. And right now, I have a... Um, a cold sore on my tongue not a cold sore what do you call it it's, it's um, but yeah it hurts <laughs> so that's what we're going through um, we both are drinking a lot of like orange juice I feel like orange juice is the cure to a lot of like small remedy small like illnesses so we drink a lot of orange juice when we're like kind of feeling sick and I don't know, maybe we'll get far or something <laughs> today. I, I need some kind of like soup. All right, cheers. What else is on my list? Oh, plans for today. All right, so the plan for today is right now it's 10.30 a.m. Um, but we're gonna watch football. We're gonna go to Sam's Club if we have time. I kind of don't like going to Sam's Club here because it's in a very like busy area. If we gotta go to Costco, but I can. I always try to go to Costco on the weekdays, so we might just save that trip for the weekday. I don't like going to Costco on the weekends. Like that's just a nightmare for me. I want to clean our cars, and right now my boyfriend went out to clean his car. And um, we bought a new dining table, and we had to like put up, pull, pull apart the dining table. But um, so we put all the legs back, but we didn't put the leg, the middle leg back, because it just, I don't know, it just didn't make sense after we got our dining table back. So we need an adult's help. So we're gonna ask my boyfriend's dad. He, <laughs> I feel bad because we always ask him for help for like the house stuff. So, um, yeah, we're going to need his help. I wish my dad was here because he is amazing at those kinds of things and he doesn't, like, groan <laughs> uh, whenever we ask him for help. Whereas my boyfriend's dad kind of, like, I don't know, he's kind of, like, grumbly mumbly whenever we ask him for help. He's a dad, you know what I mean? He's a lot older than my dad. Not much older. He's, like, 72, 73. And my dad is like 62, 63. So we have to put that on our dining table, but we might not get to it today. Our dining table is like solid oak. It's so old. It's like, it's real oak, which 
I'm obsessed. It's a square table. It's 41 by 41 inches and the legs are really cool. Um, and our previously we had a circle dining table, which was 41 inches wide, but the arms or the it had two legs or two like folding leaves and we couldn't put anything like stable on there like we couldn't put some any candles on there and i like to have candles on our dining table so our dining table was literally like 41 inches and like 20 inches wide like it was so small and i had a small lamp on one of the leaves but that's all I could put. I could. I also put our salt and pepper shaker there, but our space was like really limited. So I'm against like circle furniture because <laughs> like it just the square footage is much smaller than a square dining table. So um, yeah, I found a 41 inch by 41 inch square dining table, and it's perfect for us. It did come with two leaves, so if we move to like a nicer, bigger home, then we can put the leaves in there and we can host like Thanksgiving and stuff. So yeah, I'm very excited for that. Um, the way I won that table is this estate sale had like a bidding. So on it was Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. On Saturday it was like half off. But on Thursday and Friday, you can put a bid and you put like a, it has to be more than half the price. And I put like $131 and I don't know how many bids there were, but I wish I asked her, but it was just a crazy morning that morning, yesterday morning. And we were like pulling apart the table. We had to meet a dog that we were potentially going to adopt that morning so we were afraid that we we're gonna be late for that it was just a hectic morning and so we brought the table <laughs> in my Toyota Camry um, so that happened all right cheers mm. all right let's continue with our makeup look let's do blush because I feel like whenever I put blush on most of my makeup is already done, so I'm using the NARS blush. Blush? I don't really have a lot of blushes. This is the only one I have. <laughs> you know what? I recently threw away some lipsticks because I'm kind of like done with red, like bright pink lipsticks. But I should have kept them for my blush. But I was in like a purging mood, so I just kind of like throw away some stuff. So how was your week? Um, my week was pretty good. I woke up like before 8 a.m. every morning this week, which was nice. I like starting work early, because then you can end work early. But I just ended up working like 9 to 10 hour days on Monday through Thursday and then I worked only like five hours on Friday or four hours on Friday so you see that to put a little bit more on this side yeah there we go so um yeah I officially changed my schedule to a 549 schedule originally it was eight hour days five days a week but, um, yeah, I just, I'm just ready for a Friday flex day. I'm ready for a weekend, for a weekday when, a weekend day off, or weekday off. So, a lot of my coworkers um, get Fridays off. So, I'm going to use Glow, the Glow Kit, Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to use, I'm going to use Starburst, the Starburst color. This color. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to start doing that this coming Monday tomorrow, and I'm very excited. I've already been working like nine hour days, um, but by Friday I get pretty tired and I end up working. <laughs> yeah, Fridays are just awful for me. 
so we'll see how that goes. Um, I've been kind of practicing, I guess, practicing and seeing if I can do actually do like a nine hour day. So let's do that. I think I've been wanting like a Friday off for so long and I don't want to take like pay time off to do that. So I'm just ready. Um, I'm going to use my Bye Bye. Uh, this is so old and I don't even use this that often, but I'm going to use a concealer on my eyelid instead of a primer because I don't have a primer and I don't want to buy a primer. You know, I don't want to buy something just for my eyelids because I don't use this and I want to like, get rid of it. But So I cut my hair and I found a place called Juno and the hairstylist, she's the only one there. Her name is Eunice. She's 43, so she's a little less than 10 years older, but I want to be her friend. Um, I don't know how to go about being her friend though. It was kind of weird. So when I first got there, she was like, okay, so what's your phone number? Can you verify your phone number? She, like, she got right down to business immediately. <laughs> so I was kind of like, there wasn't like, how are you doing? Or, you know, that kind of um, gesture. So I don't know, it was kind of a rough start. And she's like, and I washed my hair. She was like washing my hair. And she's like, can you take off your earrings? And it was just all business and like, put your stuff in the locker. Um, but after a little while, like, we, after she started like doing my hair, uh, we started like talking about like how long she's been in champagne and stuff like that. So um, it was really nice to kind of like get to know her and yeah, I'm gonna be her friend. Um, maybe I'll like text her. <laughs> I've been looking for a friend in Champagne Urbana, but it's kind of hard to make friends as an adult. And for me, it's hard to make friends. I'm just. I don't know, I just don't get along with everybody. Um, I mean, I might, but I don't want to hang out with, like, everybody. So, um, yeah, I want to be her friend. And I think it'd be really fun. Okay. Let's, um, I'm going to put earrings on. And it's in the back right here. I'm going to show you this pair of earrings that I got at an estate sale. It's like turquoise color, but it's not turquoise. These estate sales have been so um, aggressive. The people there are so aggressive. It's crazy. But I was talking about, was I talking about estate sales? Yes. So I was talking, I was, okay, so I went to some estate sales this Thursday and I was on a mission and I'm rarely on a mission on estate sales because I don't know I just kind of like to go there and just browse and I look at photos ahead of time but I'm not like ever like I want that piece that piece and that piece you know but this past Thursday I was like that and I got this piece I got that piece and I got a dining table actually the dining table was a spur of the moment type of thing I honestly didn't think I was gonna win that um what do you call it that bid but she called me on friday night and i was like the 217 number I'm like, okay i'll get that even though i don't know who that is and um she's like yeah you won the dining table i was like oh wow <laughs> i was like okay well i guess i have to buy it <laughs> i'm gonna use the naked um i'm gonna use the naked and dark horse for my eyebrows and I hit pan. You see that little flat thing right there? There's another little area where I hit pan. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah, so that was like a very exciting thing. My boyfriend, of course, was not excited because he <laughs> is the one having to like bring everything and it's just a lot of work for him. But after everything is said and done, I'm like, okay, you're right. Like, it does look nice. And last night we had um, 
a really nice meal. We had what is it called polenta. Polenta is really easy to make. It's basically like grits. So it requires like a five to one ratio of water or stock and cream to polenta. And once it gets too thick, just keep adding water and water. But the secret, not secret, but the thing I do with my polenta is I add a lot of heavy cream. So it's not the best for you, but it's delicious. And I also added Pecorino Romano, and you can also add Parmigiano Reggiano if you want. But um, we added that, and what else do we use? And salt and pepper, and that's it. And it, you cook it low and slow for however long you want. All right, I'm using my naked palette. So I'm not doing a great job of like describing what I'm doing. But I'm using the Naked 3 palette. I'm just going to go like down the row. <laughs> so I'm going to use Strange, which is like the white color. So yeah, we have polenta and I made a mushroom side dish. But the thing is you put the mushroom on top of the polenta and it's delicious. But I love mushrooms, so um, we used shallots and garlic. You take that off, you cook it, and then you take it off the pan. Cook the mushrooms, and then um, uh, you put red wine vinegar and red wine and some chicken stock. Okay, so I'm going to use limit, which is like this color right here, this one right here. Gonna use that at the bottom, but I'm using the the um, brush that comes with the palette, by the way. <laughs> okay, I can't even tell. Actually, I can tell. I'm gonna use Factory, which is this dark color. I'm going to use this side of the brush. It's like a little heavier. I'm going to just do this. And then. Ow. Okay. By the way, someone commented saying, Remember me when I'm famous? I do not want to be famous. Like, this is an anti-goal. Like, I want to be small and, yeah, it's, I don't want to be famous. I don't like attention. It's, yeah, I don't like being center of attention, so. Alright, blended that out, so that looks nice. I love this palette. This is the one palette I would recommend to any, like, Anyone who doesn't want like too much color on their eyes, and if you like pink nudes, like brown nudes nowadays look like I just have a bruise on my eyes. <laughs> I feel like that was like the trend back in the day, but now it's just too harsh. So let's do that. That looks nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of color on my eyelid. I'm going to use the Anastasia Glow Kit. And this is, you can find this, this is sugar. You can find this at like Marshalls and like Gigi Max. Like I've seen so much. So I'm going to use Gumdrop. So that's the color. I'm using this palette for my eyelid because I'm like never going to run out of this palette. It looks nice. on my nose. A lot of finger painting today. I already put some on my cheeks, but put some underneath my eyebrows. Alright, that looks good. We'll see. I, I never really know how my makeup looks until 
I'm in the car and I'm like, oh crap. So don't do this at home. Um, all right. Double blush, let's do. Um, let's do mascara. Okay, look away, guys. Look away. I'm gonna do this off camera. But I'm still gonna be here. So I saw in a YouTube video, you keep it on your eye and then you stay on for five seconds. Okay. I'm gonna do the other side. Good as it's gonna get. <laughs> Short eyelash problems. All right. Um, on my list, I'm just looking at my list. Meals I'm gonna make this week. So I'm gonna make Patsy Yu. Um, we like Thai food a lot, so Patsy Yu is like one of our one of our favorite dishes. And we use Hot Thai Kitchen's recipe. Her recipe is the only recipe that I've found that is the closest to the restaurant. So. It actually tastes like a restaurant's Patsy Yu. And I don't have a wok, so you don't need a wok to make this, but you do need a non-stick skillet. So check out Hot Thai Kitchen's Patsy Yu recipe. The hardest part about this recipe is making the sauce and finding the ingredients for the sauce. So yeah, that's the hardest part. And um, one moment get my mascara so yeah that's the hardest part and once you find all the sauces the sauces last a long time and I actually make the sauce ahead of time and I quadruple the recipe because I make Patsy Yu like every week or so and it's just convenient to have the sauce already made you know I used to do under eye, but I don't anymore. All right, mascara time. Yeah, let's do this one. I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath palette uh, mirror for this, just because it's huge. I didn't talk at all. <laughs> I can't talk and do mascara at the same time. Ooh. So, this might be TMI, but I'm losing some hairs in the front. I usually lose hair like in the middle of middle front of my hair like like right here I lose hair when I'm like stressed out <laughs> so I must be stressed out and usually the stress comes from work from having like too much work and not having the ability to like manage my time 
feels like crazy because I feel like I'm pretty good at managing my time, you know? Maybe I'm not. the other side. Actually need a Q-tip. But I want to show you my little like Q-tip holder. The arm broke. I'm like sad. But look at this. This is such a pretty thing. Um, it holds my like little cotton pads and also some Q-tips on the side. So. There, that's my cute holder. I'm starting to become more and more like a grandma. Let's see. It's just a wiggle. I didn't do the bottom with the other side. Do that just to make things even. Okay, that is good. Alrighty, um, last but not least, lipstick. What kind of lipstick do I want? Um, let's do which one is this one? This one is peachy, and I think it matches. You know what, I need an exfoliator for my lips because it's just so um, dry. Don't work. Okay. Mm, I think I want something stronger than that. Um, and that will be the Koi. I knew this would be the color today. Yeah. There we go. The tickle's gonna do that, that side. And on that side of my lips, the tickles. Hmm. This is the last but not least. It's the Milani Make It Last Dewy, Dewy Finish Setting Spray, 16 hours. That's not too much spray. How much spray are you supposed to do? Um, directions, shake well before use, hold bottle, Eight to ten inches away from face and spray in a zigzag formation. Do not spray directly into eyes. Yeah, but how many sprays do I need? You know? Like, what if I'm putting way too much? So, actually, I don't even feel it on my right side. Okay. I think I just love the smell of this, which is why I'm spraying it so much. Okay. We're gonna add some perfume. I found this at um, TJ Maxx the other day and it was like $40. So I got it and it was magnolia and I love the smell of magnolia. The smell is all right. Um, I'll tell you the top notes and stuff because I wrote it down. So the top notes are Italian bergamot white nectarine accord. It smells very floral and very sweet initially. And then the middle is light violet magnolia. And then the base is solar amber, moving driftwood, and musk. I definitely smell musk after it dries out a little bit. So I would say I like the initial smell first, but that smell doesn't last long. And then I like the, um, I 
like the bass notes the least, which is strange. I always thought I liked um, Musk, but maybe I don't. Um, okay, so I was talking about what I'm going to make this week. So I was going to make Patsy Yu and check out Hot Thai Kitchen's recipe for that. I was going to make red curry and I know this is like not authentic, but um, I like, what's her name? Cookie and Kate's recipe for red curry. She has like a vegetarian version of this and it's delicious. One time I made it and uh, the next morning I had that red curry for breakfast because it was just so good. Um, and then so we're gonna make that and then I also want to make Korean beef radish soup or mukuk in Korean. And that's because I have radish and um, it's, the it's the season and it's actually one of my favorite soups. So, so cheers to amazing Korean food. So yeah, oh, there's a little bit of transfer. So yeah, we're gonna make that. And I have the radish already. I needed a radish for something else. And then um, I have some leftovers, so I'm just gonna make radish soup. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Let's see. Oh, I didn't finish my to-do list today. So yeah, we're gonna clean our cars. Oh, I did actually. Put middle legs on the dining table. Yeah, I'm very happy with the living room setup right now. I we need to move the TV here on top of the TV stand. And that's gonna be like so much work. Um but we'll see. I also want to share with you that okay, I have some makeup on the floor, but I'm gonna bring you down a little bit. But check out this little thing right there. That was my boyfriend's idea to put a Tiffany style lamp in the TV stand. And there are like holes in the back so you can like put wires through. So that's like one of our favorite um, ideas or favorite things about this living room. And I found that little tiny Tiffany uh, style lamp at an estate sale. So check out estate sales. <laughs> All right, cheers. Mm. So yeah, leave, please leave comments below about how your week was. I kind of want this to be feel like a um, girl to girl or girl to guy hangout time. Um, I want to be your friend, uh, just like I want to be Eunice's friend. <laughs> how do I how do I tell her that I want to be her friend? <laughs> I should just text her, be like, hey, um, do you want to grab some coffee or something? <laughs> All right, well, I will see you next time, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, cheers. <laughs>